Forever Fitted Jewelry is something that gives back to you guys. And also I tithe 15% of everything that I make. Um, and it goes back to 12 Stone Church. So I don't always tell everyone that. Just I do that because that's what I want to do. And I kind of made a bargain <laughs> with Jesus. Yeah, what's the, what's the bargain that you made? Uh, I made a bargain. I was trying to bargain with God. I'm like, I'll give you 15% of every purchase. If you please just help this be successful. But man, it took off. I was laughing at myself. It's like, you can't, Jesus can do what he wants for you, what he needs for you, not what you want. But I think it was what he wants. Cause, but I never forget. I hear it in the back of my mind every time I get done with an event or a pop-up or, you know, even just doing jewelry on someone. That voice reminds me 15%. Yeah, that's awesome. I never forget. I always just. Make sure I go in and get my 15%, even if it's on a $50 sale. That's awesome. So what do you say about, like, the type, the quality of this jewelry and, you know, people saying that it's just a fad? Like, what do you have to say about those, those two things? Jewelry has been around for probably thousands of years. But it's been a way of expression for many cultures and many countries for generations on generations, um, from jewels and rocks and stones and wood to now, you know, sterling silver and gold and all kinds of, you know, stones that we love. So jewelry is a form of expression, which is why I actually like to have a lot of charms, charm options for people. Um, or keep it simple with the chain, but jewelry is never going out of style.